The Bible says in Exodus chapter 20, verses 5 and 6, the Bible says, You shall not bow yourself to them or serve them. For I, the Lord, I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation of those who ate me. Verse 6, but showing mercy and steadfast love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandment. Exodus chapter 34 verses 6 and 7, the message Bible. The Bible says, God passed in front of him and called out, God, God, a God of mercy and grace, endlessly patient, so much love, so deeply true, love, loyal in love for a thousand generations, forgiving iniquity, rebellion, and sin. Still, he doesn't ignore sin. He holds sons and grandsons responsible for a father's sins to the third and even the fourth generation. You will see, as we've read in those um, verses of the Old Testament, you can see that generational curses operate up to four generations. The Bible says up to the third and the fourth generation. However, According to those scriptures, we also could see that generational blessings operate up to a thousand generations. The Bible says he holds grandsons, grandchildren responsible for the iniquities of their fathers up to the third or fourth generations. But for those who love and obey him, he blesses them up to a thousand generations. Hence, the ratio of generational curse to generational blessing is 1 to 250. Hallelujah. That is, for one time a generational curse passes on to the other generation. Generational blessings pass 250 times. Glory to God. Hence, I want you to realize that the power that blesses you is greater than the forces trying to curse you. Can you declare that with me today? The power that blesses me is greater than the forces trying to curse me.